Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we're gonna be seeing how to use AI to turn the physique in this image into something like this, and also later on into something more realistic like this. So you'll have your choice whether you wanna go for something that looks over the top or real. So let's get started. The app or the, the AI software here is a, is a software that I've been very impressed with. A lot of my future videos are gonna be on this. It's called Pencil AI. I hope that's how it's pronounced. And you'll find once you go here, the link is given in the description. Also that image will be given in the description so that you can practice this along with me. Uh, somewhere here, you're gonna find an option to create an account. You can just use your Gmail or something. It's free to create the account and you get 20 credits. Now these credits don't replenish. And every generation like I'm soon gonna be showing you will cost you one credit. Since they don't replenish, towards the end of the video, I'll also be showing you what the paid plans for Pencil AI are. But very impressed with these tools and how you're gonna uh, do this is by going to tools here and you'll be able to then see all the different AI tools that they have. I'm gonna be covering a lot of them in the future tutorials. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, this would be a good time to do that. And the one that we are looking for right now is called you just find it, it's called Reimagine, and here it is. So we're gonna hit try now. And you can see like a sample here, basically it gives you a brush. You can paint on your existing image on any part of that image. And for example, you can type in the prompt like golden sneaker and it'll just turn into that. So now you can understand what we're gonna do with our own image. So first of all, let's drop this image here. All right, so we have uploaded the image and the moment you do that, you just get a very simple looking interface here. This is where you enter the prompt. We have our brush here, and there's something called as control mode, which I'll just be talking about. But the first thing that you need to do is you need to take this brush and paint over the areas where we'll be changing the physique, okay? So you can change, uh, decrease or increase the size of the brush, like something like this. Now what I would do is I would just avoid the fingers because after we type the prompt, it's gonna manipulate the image and AI, as you must be knowing, is still not good with handling fingers, okay? So just leave this part, but from here on, you can pretty much paint his entire body. So just to speed things up, let's meet when I have done this. All right, so I've covered his body. You can see I've left the hands and I've left this part of the neck where the chain was. In case by any chance you do run over this or something like that, it, later on you realize after the manipulation that something had uh, gone missing or it had changed something. It's not a problem because like I said, remember we are seeing two things here. One is how what result this tool gives us directly. But later on, I'll also be showing you how to take this over to Photoshop and then make any kind of changes to maybe make it more realistic, to correct anything, all this can be done. But first of all, let's just see how this works. So we've done the first part, now it's time to write the prompt and choose the control mode. So with the prompt in this app, what I've seen is just write as less as possible. It just works better. So I can just type in muscles. You don't have to write uh, physique of a man, which is lean and this, so don't go to elaborate on this because it gives you similar results. So there's no point, okay? So I'm just typing in muscles and in the control mode, this uh, that is selected by default, keep outlines is good, but let me just explain uh, to you what this means. Creative just means that if I was to now hit generate, this tool has the full liberty to change this brushed part in any way. So maybe it can even give you like a super muscular guy whose body shape is very different from this original image. Okay, so we don't wanna select that at least not for right now, okay? Uh, keep outlines is the best one because that just means that it whatever changes it's gonna make is gonna notice the original edges and it's gonna confine that manipulation inside this and that is selected by default and match body pose is something which is you can think of it like this it's a bit of both that it tries to keep it within the uh, boundary confines it to that but also you you are telling that if you feel like going outwards you can but overall the pose will still be maintained and usually if you just hover over this question mark they themselves say that if you're unsure just keep this middle option select okay so we're all set and we're going to now hit generate and let's see the results here. All right, so this is the result that we've got here. And you can see this doesn't look bad, but if you just notice this, uh, there's a bit of a change of color and I just feel this is too intense for a change. If you like it, that's not a problem because if you do, you can just now hit download. But what I wanna show you right now is how we can take this back over to Photoshop and kind of create a composite between this and the original image to achieve something which looks more realistic. So let's do that. All right, so I've opened up both the images, the original here and the manipulated one inside Photoshop. And now we're gonna superimpose them with uh, on uh, top of each other, but just notice the dimensions here because once we download this image from uh, Pencil AI, 
this does downscale the image on the longest side is, uh, on the longer side is going to be uh, something like around 1500 pixels but just somewhere in this range but if you see the uh, original this is slightly bigger right so whenever you now we since we have to superimpose them we have a choice of uh, either upscaling the other one or downscaling this one usually it's always good to downscale first when you're creating a composite since upscaling something and we're making it bigger can lead to uh, pixelation okay so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this image by going to image image size and we're just going to type in either of those okay so on width i've written 1024 let's hit okay and now this will be of the same size so let's wait for this all right so we've been able to do that let me just zoom into this and you can see that now this is of the size that we want so what we are we will do now is to transfer it over to the uh, other tab and the fastest way to do it so that it directly comes on top is to simply duplicate this layer and under destination just select this one so that is this one and now if you go back this is going to be right on top here and just making sure that yes this is on top so we've got the first thing that we want to do here now simply what we're going to do is since we are going for a more a much more realistic looking uh, physique we simply just have to start by making this disappear using a layer mask and then gradually fade it till the time it is to our liking so nothing really too tough so what we're going to do is first of all we will just need to create a layer mask on this layer so let's do that okay so this is the one on top right now let's say we want to start off with the original so let's just invert this layer mask so it's completely black so we are seeing the layer down and now if you're not seeing this window the properties window you can double click the layer mask so that you see this and there's this density slider all we just have to do is keep on decreasing the density because that what that will do is just think of it like this we're basically painting it in a very gradual way white here and that is going to start to reveal the top layer which is the original layer so this is the density slider right now it's at 100 let's try to fade this or if you want what you can do is you can do the opposite you can start with zero so we're basically seeing the original i think this is much better and now keep on increasing it a bit so you see it starts to now show up and maybe like something like this you can see this starts to look more real and now you can start to see the muscles somewhere at around 50 percent and i think something like in this case probably something like 60 61 is probably a good bet right because now if we if i was to just disable the layer mask you'll be able to compare this to the original so this is what we started off with and if i just enable the layer mask again this is what where we are at and if we compare this to the original what we got from pencil ai this looked too extreme in my opinion but i think this is better even though actually to be frank i don't mind it mind decreasing it slightly more so yes you can see that if you've not got the perfect results you can always take this back in photoshop now i just want to quickly show you the paid plans here in case you run out of uh, credits like i told you i do plan to create a lot of tutorials on all those different tools that you saw and i'll most probably be going soon for the paid plan myself but right now you can see that the starter plan is free where you only get 20 free credits but they do not replenish that's the only problem with this too and you can see the basic plan is 19 dollars a month which is a uh, thousand plus credits a month if you're not sure right now like i said subscribe to my channel because i do plan to use uh, some of those tools i already have and i was extremely impressed because this is one app which works very smoothly and it seems very very reliable so yeah looks like a solid tool and in case this video helped you out do give it a like and i will see you next time